It's your boy, Slim the Fox, with another movie review. And this review is on Transformers Rise of the Beast. Maximals, maximize. Let's get straight to it. Um, before we start with the movie review, I just want to come out and say I'm a huge Transformers fan. Anybody who knows me knows this. I was a fan of the uh, 80s cartoon. And yes, I used to cut all three seasons. And I used to watch some of the Japanese. Headmaster Series 2. I wasn't that much of a big fan of the Michael Bay movies. So I'm a Transformers cartoon and comic book fan. I used to collect the comic books. Like I had all 80 of them at one point. I don't know what I did with them. And I used to collect the, the, the IDW run. So yes, I'm a big Transformers fan. But like I said just a few minutes ago, I wasn't a fan of the Michael Bay movies at all. The only thing I think Michael Bay did right was after the first Transformer movie. He had Prime, more like the Prime from the cartoon, wasn't, wasn't, he wasn't one to play with. And the first one, he had Prime running from Megatron and acting scary. That, that wasn't the Prime I used to watch in the cartoon. The Prime in the cartoon would, would be trying to go head up with, with Megatron off the rip. Straight, straight wanted to give Megatron knuckle up action. Every time he saw him, he wasn't running. So, but other than that, the Michael Bay movie was, was kind of whack in my opinion. Um, Maybe one or two were decent at the most, but most of them were whack. So let's get the Transformer Rise of the Beast. Straight off the bat, I thought it was good. I mean, I thought it was good. It was a few corny lines in it. Um, overall, I thought it was a really good movie. It starts off with Unicron coming to the Maximus home world and Ape Link and the rest of them, Optimus Primal and Air Razor and Cheeto and Rhinox. Are trying to get away from because Unicron sends Scourge, his his uh bearer, or basically his his world scroll before he destroys the world to you know basically destroy anything on the world that try to give him resistance. And in most people would know that you know if you watched the the the, the 1986 movie Galvatron was that that, but this in this movie is Scourge, and um. Him and Ape Link, Scourge and Ape Link get into it. I'm not going to say what happened, but anyway, Optimus Primal and the rest of the Maximals, they leave just in time before Unicron destroys the home world. And they use a trans key because Unicron is after the trans key, so he can leap from universe to worlds to, you know, different time zones to, to chew up basically and eat all the planets and, and the civilizations of various dimensions and worlds. If anybody once again watches the, the 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 movie or read the comic books, they'll know pretty much what Unicron is about. But anyway, they after Optimus Primal and the rest escape to the to Earth. So it flash forwards to 1994, and Noah, who's you know a young man who basically was in the military, and now you know he's struggling with his mother and his brother to make his. His brother has sickle cell, so. He's trying to get the medicine that, you know, his brother needs to get a job to get the medicine that his brother needs. And, you know, his mother's a single mother. She's trying to do the best she can. She's working. So he agrees with the local, a local dude from the hood to steal a car to sell it, to, you know, to get the money to help his brother and help his family out. And the car he ends up trying to steal is Mirage, who, you know, Mirage was pretty good in the movie. The voice actor who played Mirage, he did pretty good. You know, he's had a one or two few corny lines, but overall he was really good. And um, basically, it becomes the another person, Elena. She works at a museum, and she accidentally opens the key, and the key sends a beacon that awakens Unicron, and Unicron sends Scourge and his crew, the Terracons, to go and find the key and bring it to him, and Ult Ultimate Prime and his crew. RC, Mirage, Bumblebee, and Wheeljack, they try to get the key because they want to go home. So it becomes this chase for the key. They battle it out here and there. And then they have to go to Peru because Scourge ends up getting half of the key, but it's another half in Peru that Optimus Primal and the rest of his maximum have hid somewhere. Um, 
I'm not going to give the rest of the story away. Y'all have to go see it yourself. But overall, I thought it was, like I said before, it was a good movie. It didn't try to do too much. It gave several of the characters a lot to do. Um, Noah and Elena had something to do that was good. They had their own personalities. They had good personalities. Optimus Prime, he was good. He did his thing. I mean, it, Optimus Prime definitely did his thing in the movie. He was the Optimus Prime. I remember from the cartoons, so they definitely nailed him. Will Jack, I ain't, he was all right. I ain't like how they did Will Jack. I mean, a lot of people going to talk about the design of Will Jack, and that's understandable. The design was kind of, they gave him the nerdish look. Will Jack, even though he was nerdish in the cartoon and the, and the comic books, he wasn't nerdish looking. So, but so I kind of, I understand why people are kind of harping on the design. I just thought he was just okay. RC was cool. She was more of a background character, but a little bit, they did give her, she was cool. Um, Bumblebee, I don't really understand this new generation's obsession with Bumblebee. I don't, never was a really big Bumblebee fan. I thought he was okay, but I don't, I guess he the new way, the most popular Transformer other than Artemis Prime now. So I guess they just got to shove him in any move. But he he was cool in this one. He did his thing. He he, he definitely showed out. He definitely had a couple action pieces. Um, The Primals, I mean, the Maximums, Artemis Primer, he was good but he was that the, the maximums was hardly in it but the little bit that they were in it i mean they were in the second half but out of prime where he was good i mean the wisdom he, he showed a lot of wisdom in the character personality where he was good um air razor her wisdom she was good she was in it more than pretty much out of prime was. um she was cool uh cheetah and rhinos they were just secondary characters they didn't even really even say nothing so i mean they was just there. So I can't rate them on their personality or something. They, they, I don't understand. It's a two, I'm not like everybody else. I, it's a two hour movie. You can't shove everybody's personality in there. So I'm not harping on what the director, the director should have did this. He should have did that. No, it's a two hour movie. For everybody, he can't shove everybody's personality in there. He did good for what, whoever directed this did is really good. So I'm not throwing no hate at that person. I mean, he did what he could. He couldn't shove everybody's personalities and give everybody parts he did what he could and i thought he did good um scourge scourge was dope i mean scourge was a dope character they did great by scourge nightbird and i'm talking about the terracons the evil guys nightbird was cool she she was in it but she was more of a background character they gave her one or two speaking parts but i thought she was cool um the other Terracon but just background noise, basically. So, Stratosphere, the airplane for the Autobots, I didn't... I guess for the kids, some of the little kids that are watching this, you got to have a goofy character and a couple goofy lines here and there. So, I, I, I thought his personality was, eh, whatever. So, but he was cool. His design was cool, I guess. Um, The action was good, really good. I, I really enjoyed the action. The action was great. Um, the story was cool. A lot of people were harping on the story. I thought the story was cool. It was a straightforward story. They had to be all complex. I mean, this is Transformers. I mean, and it, it, it was good. I liked it. It was, it was way better than all the Michael Bay films, as far as my opinion is concerned. So, the story, the characters, I thought everything was cool. I enjoyed it. I mean, it's one of the rare Transformers movies. Really, the only Transformer movie other than the animated movie that I probably go watch again. So that giving it high praise right there by itself. Um, overall, Transformers: Rise of the Beast. Oh, and Unicron. Unicron. I felt they could have gave him more to do. I mean, yeah, he was in it, but he wasn't in it. In it. But I guess they're gonna save him for if you know the movie does well. They're gonna save him for some sequels. Somewhere later on down the line, but he, from actually seeing him on screen, other than the animated movie, it was dope to see. So I give him credit for that. And they played him to a, to the little couple. I mean, a couple of speaking parts he had. They showed him enough love in that regard. I mean, like I said, they probably saved him for some time later on down. So he was cool. 
So Transformers Rise of the Beast, I'm going to give it four Autobots roll out out of five. Good movie. Plan on seeing it again. If you got time, check it out. It's your boy, Slender Fox, signing out. Peace.